Miami Heat Nation, what is going on? So in today's video, we are going to be talking about more on this Donovan Mitchell contract situation because it's getting more spicier and spicier. And this may be some good news for the Miami Heat or it may be some bad news for the Miami Heat, depending how this front office wants to operate and make some moves. So if you guys didn't know, after this year's up, Donovan Mitchell will only have one year left on his deal. Now, they want a contract extension. Um, the Cavaliers GM is confident that he will get a contract extension. But Dunn Mitchell, on the other hand, is not really focused on that. And there's a good chance that he doesn't sign that contract extension, especially with the postseason coming up. We got to see how far this team's going to go. And I think that dictates a lot of stuff. Now, we all know Dunn Mitchell has been linked to the Miami Heat for consecutive off seasons. And I think Donovan Mitchell to the Miami Heat makes perfect sense. I think Donovan Mitchell can help us be a good regular season team because clearly we struggle in the regular season. It doesn't matter if we have Jimmy. It doesn't matter if we have Bam, Terry, or Tyler. We struggle. And every single year for the last two seasons, we have been playing team. When you look at the Cavaliers, there's just no way you think that team's better than us. Well, they're probably not, but they have a superstar playing Denovan Mitchell that's carrying them to 47 victories. And to be honest with you, they would have been easily a 50-win team if Denovan Mitchell wasn't hurt pretty much half the season or dealing with these injuries. And no, I'm not worried about Denovan Mitchell being injury prone because he's hardly injured. He's always playing. And when he is playing, he's going to give out give out you know his hardest and try. Dude's averaging damn near 26, 27 points a game. You know, we're not worrying about Donovan Mitchell load managing in the game during the regular season and taking regular season games off. That's not what Donovan Mitchell does, a.k.a. like Jimmy Butler, which is now why we're in this position. And it's just super, super unfortunate. Now, if they have to trade him, it's definitely going to be tough for the Miami Heat. I do think we have the pieces. Some people say, y'all don't even have the pieces. Well, I definitely think we do have the pieces, right? We have Jovic, we have Jaime, we have Tyler, we have Duncan. There is pieces to operate. We even have Terry. And Terry could be one of those pieces that if we do trade, the Cavaliers still want to compete. So it's not like they're going in a full rebuild mode after they trade Donovan Mitchell. You get what I'm saying? And even Tyler. So we do have the pieces. And those young guys, which I don't think we will be trading for Donovan Mitchell. We may have to trade one. But they've been balling. Jaime definitely hit a rookie wall, but he's still very good. Nicole Jovic is just improving every single game. And man, oh man, I know a lot of teams are going to want him. So for anybody that keeps saying the Heat don't have pieces, you're tripping. Because all the pieces that we were supposed to trade for Dame, they're doing pretty, pretty good this year. Let's just be honest. But... I think we need another wheel. I think we need another star to help out this Miami Heat team because I am not going to be dealing with, dealing with another Jimmy Butler who is going to load manage probably 70 games next year. And we're going to be another playing team. We need stars, stars, stars. I think Dedham and Mitchell makes perfect sense. So, And we don't know when another star is going to come available because a lot of them are locked up on contracts. So this is the perfect time you have to take advantage. But Heat fans, let us know in the comment sections what do you guys think about the new update talking about Donovan Mitchell contract situation. It's definitely getting spicy. It's definitely going to get interesting, especially with the postseason around the corner and then the offseason. But if you guys are diehard Miami Heat fans and want to stay updated, this is the perfect channel. Follow for more.